I think you could say it is a rather tailored program to each and every student in some way or another. Graphic designers are doing so many other things nowadays that don't have the label graphic design on it. So one of the things that makes our program stand out is the general acceptance and standard of interdisciplinarity that's inherent in the program. We're not a siloed program at all. We don't have, for example, courses with names like printmaking for graphic designers or photography for designers. They actually go to those programs and interact with photography students and new media students and printmaking students. We think that's important as well, is that they not only learn these other disciplines and incorporate that into their own work, but they also interact with these students and with the faculty at these other departments. You know, you come in here and a lot of people come in and they have an idea of what they want to do already and the school kind of just like shuts that down immediately and tells you you have to take all these other classes. And for a lot of people that's really scary. I know it was for me. And um, I was so dead set like, oh, I'm going to do this and then, you know, essentially by being told I had to experiment, I ended up finding so many other things that I love doing. And just because I majored in graphic design didn't mean that I had to give any of those up, that I can still take those other classes and incorporate them into my practice and my work here. And, you know, I still illustrate and I do video work, but my major is graphic design. And it, you can really get a little bit of everything, you know, depending on what you want to do. As a student, you're not just a, a, a number or a face in a huge class of 50, 100 students or whatever but rather you're in there with a, a relatively small group of colleagues, classmates, and the faculty gets to know you quite well. I think um, teachers are always willing to meet outside of class time and definitely talk about things even that aren't related to projects or school, which is awesome because, I mean, I needed a lot of help <laughs> preparing for the future, so. The best thing about Mecca is that the people are here to support you and they're here to help you. And I always feel like there's someone that I can talk to and someone that's gonna help me. Is you've got a, a, a faculty here that are uh, dedicated professionals and also dedicated teachers at the same time. In the graphic design program, we have a, uh, a, a large departmental crit once a year in which we bring outside professionals who are in the city here, bring them in as guest critics and uh, they're, they're often here for lectures, uh, demonstrations. So it's not really necessary to organize, say, a portfolio day or anything like that because by the time our students graduate, they're pretty well known to these people anyway. Mecca does a really great job of partnering with so many other businesses in the community and so many other groups that you make sure that you get to know these people and that you make those connections. And not only does it make you feel like you're at home in Portland, but it really sets you up for a future career here. I've talked to, I've talked to uh, uh, people who have hired our, our, uh, our graduates and, and uh, they'll, I'll often hear that they can often see from a student's portfolio which school they went to, but they can't with Maine College of Art students because they're also different. They're also ultimately different. And we really sort of pay attention to, to what the student wants to do and also try to meld that with what we feel they need to know in order to function and perform well as a graphic designer or as, as, or as whatever else they want to pursue once they, once they graduate from the school. I chose to come to Mecca because it just felt right. <laughs> um, I mean, I wish there was a little more to it, but that's really what it came down to. I'm going to leave here with the skills that I came in wanting.